as a strategic game, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock your jailbroken iPhone 3GS, uh, or any iPhone for that matter. Um, as you can see, I'm already on the T-Mobile network, and this is a jailbroken and unlocked device running 4.0 OS. So first off, we're going to unlock it, and this is what my phone looked like before I put any themes in, before I added City on here. Um, well, basically before I added any themes. So this is what it looks like now with a simple theme, and this is what, you know, jailbreaking your device can do. Well, there's a lot more possible. So first thing you want to do is go to Cydia. Cydia you will be there once you jailbreak your device, and if you've not jailbroken your device yet, you could go to www.jailbreakme.com, and you should be able to simply jailbreak your device by swiping to jailbreak. Simple as that. There are tons of videos on YouTube about it. Um, all you can do is to unlock your device to use it with any carrier, um, is go to Cydia first of all. I'll show you how to use it with T-Mobile, but you can use this process to use it with any SIM carrier. Um, we go. To, we're gonna let Cydia load. We don't have to, but we can. Uh, first time you go to Cydia and you open it up, it might say loading data for a long period of time, and uh, there might be some stuff going on. So I'm gonna make this be as short as possible, so uh, it doesn't. You know, it's not a big, huge file that I have to upload. And it'll be harder for y'all to download. So this is what you'll see first time you go on City. It's going to be easy. welcome to City and all that stuff. Make sure you have your SHSH on file. Um, and you know that's simple. I could show you how it's done in another video. For the main, you want to go to Manage, which is the fourth tab on the bottom. You want to go to Manage, and when you click when you Manage, you're going to see uh, Packages, Sources, Storage. So the one you want to go to is Sources. So once you go to Sources. Um, you want to add repo666.ultrasnow.com since my device is already jailbroken I already have it on my phone so that's why it's here if you're doing this for the first time this won't be here obviously so what you want to do is to edit you want to add, go to add and you want to type in repo uh, the number 666 and you put dot uh, ultrasn0 make sure it's a zero not an o ultrasnow.com and you hit add source and when you do that it's going to say verify URL and it's going to update sources so once you update since I already have it installed it's going to give me some errors most likely like this because I already have it on my device so once your once the package has been installed on your phone or what has the source has been downloaded to your phone it's going to say reloading data and every time you do anything on City, it's going to always say reloading data, and most of the time you have to wait till done. So it's going to say complete, and once it's 100% done, it's going to say return to Cydia, which is right here. So we're going to tap that, and that's Ultra Snow right there. Done. So what we want to do is hit done, and for you to get unlock your phone, you want to tap that. And once you tap that, you're going to see Ultra Snow, and this was released by the dev team. And uh, what we want to do now is tap this and just make sure just clarify this the check mark is there only because I have it installed on my phone it won't be there if you do it for the first time so what we want to do is tap on this and we go, and you, when you go to that you're gonna to come to screen where it's gonna tell you you know what ultra snow can unlock and what it cannot unlock and uh, it's gonna say hold on sorry about that it's gonna say mo mine says modify right now because I already have it installed but when you do it the first time it's gonna ask you it's, it's going to say install right here. So you're gonna, you want to tap install. It's going to say, it's going to change to another screen. It's going to pop up and it's going to ask you cancel. It's going to be right here and it's going to say confirm. So you want to hit confirm. So what, we're going to, what you want to do basically is install and confirm. And so don't worry about that. And you can do it for any firmware, um, any iPhone except for the iPhone 4. And the update for the iPhone 4 unlock should be coming out very, very soon. Um, once you're done that, it's going to go back to that black city screen. It's going to ask you, it's going to install. And instead of saying return to city like we saw before, it's going to say reboot device. So what you want to do is tap the reboot device. And basically what you want to do is power off your device by pressing the home screen and the uh, and, uh, sleep button. And once you, you know, once you get a black screen, you want to, you know, sl slide to sleep like you normally would. Once you do that and you turn off your phone, uh, you could turn when you turn it back on and come to your home screen. You're gonna have an unlocked device. So if you put in any SIM card, it's easy. That it's your phone's already. That's how easy it was to jail unlock device. So really simple. Uh, they should your phone should come like this. Let's see how we have to go through this simple process. But uh, that's how we do it. 
So since that's done, now we can. Uh, so you have an unlocked device. So if you want to use it with T-Mobile, what you want to do is go to. Sorry about that. Go to Cydia again. So we need to use Cydia constantly to get all our information. So you want to go to Manage, and you don't have to wait to wait for it to load data. Just keep tapping Manage, and it will skip eventually. So we're going to go to Manage. We're going to go to Sources, and we're going to go to Edit. And you want to add a source, um, Cydia, C Y D I A dot X S E L L I Z E dot. Well, hit the dot com button, and you want to hit Add Source. And this is basically to get something called Supreme References, which is what we'll need to put in the uh, T Mobile APN device settings so you could access the internet once you use your SIM card once you use your T-Mobile SIM card um, and you could use this for any data carrier but I'll show you how to put in the specific settings APN settings for T-Mobile so once you have that installed it's going to say reloading data and we're going to let this finish and now it's going to say return to Cydia so you want to tap that and we have that uh, source we added so we had done and now we can tap this and you want to scroll down to the S it's going to start with Supreme so it's going to be uh, we go to T and then go up or you know go to S and come down whatever you prefer or you can go to search what we're searching for is Supreme Preferences so Supreme Preferences 3.0 that's what we want and I have a check mark next to it just like I said before because I already have it installed so once you tap this it's going to say install right here instead of modify and you tap install you hit confirm and you have it installed on your device and once that's done you just tap return to Cydia uh -oh. computer's internet turned off so it'll take just a second for me to reconnect um, but basically once we're done with that you want to go back to manage you want to go to manage and you want to go to You want to go to sources again, and you want to go to search. Sorry, you want to go to search, and you want to type in W I N uh, N T E R winter board. That's what you're looking for. W I N T E R. And you type in the letter B after that, and you'll see winter board is going to be the first result. And this is what we need. I have the check mark next to it because I already have it installed, like I mentioned multiple times before. And you want to hit install right here, which is going to be there instead of modify. You tap that, and you will have winter board installed. You just go to tap install, hit confirm, and you'll have winter board installed, installed as well. So once we have both of those, you want to go to your home screen, and you want to find winter board, which is going to be right here. You hit winter board. So we, so we go into Winterboard. What Winterboard does is give you gives your device a soft reset, which means uh, you can you know run a theme or run a program on it. It'll give a quick reset. So what we want to go do is well, first when we go into Winterboard, you want to hit go to select themes, click tap on that, and you're going to see Supreme Preferences 3.0. Is this what we installed prior to Winterboard? So we t make sure it's checked next to it. So there's a check mark. Go back to Winterboard, and it's going to give you the option to respring now. Make sure you tap respring. And once that happens, your phone might freeze up or you might get a black screen. It's going to take a few minutes. And once what we do is just let it load up. And once it loads up, you're going to come back to the home screen. And what we're going to do is slide to unlock. now your settings should look different it's gonna once we once you do that your settings on should have changed to like two two saws or something like that so what you want to do is go to settings and now when you go to settings you're gonna see a new feature saying supreme preferences 3.0 this would not exist unless you did it right if you did it right you're gonna see supreme preferences 3.0 once you see that you tap on that you go to applications you go to phone and then you make sure your cellular data editing is on. So you want, it's going to be off. You want to turn that on. And we're going to click applications again. Go back to that. And go back to phone once again. 
Okay. And now when we come back the second time, and after we're turning it on, it's gonna a new little tab is gonna open up saying cellular data network. So once we go to that, you could enter in all your data settings for your carrier. Um, for T-Mobile, the APN information is gonna be epc.tmobile.com. So sorry about that. EPN epc.tmobile.com and the MMS settings is wap.voicestream.com and the MMSC's information is there and MMS proxy is also there. So I'm going to leave this there for a few seconds if you want to pause the video and you want to type it into your phone or anything like that. Uh, I can read it out to you. It's 216.155.174.84. That's the MMSC and the MMS proxy is a 216.155.165.50. Uh, colon or dot dot eight zero eight zero. So once you're done with that, you want to go back to phone, um, or you, and then just hit the home screen button. Go back to home. Go to settings. Oops, sorry, we got to go. Keep going back settings to get to the main settings menu. So this is the main settings menu. You want to go to general. And you go to network. Make sure your cellular data is on. Make that on. So it's on now. Do not enable 3G. If you enable 3G on and you're trying to use a different carrier than AT&T, it might most likely just won't work because T-Mobile 3G network is different from AT&T's. Um, so we don't. We you, you're going to get edge speeds. So make sure you want to you want to make sure all your information you entered is still in here, and it obviously is. Uh, so we just scroll down. Make sure. Yep, it's all there. We're going to go to network, and now you have it set up. So what we want to do now, just to make sure it's all been entered properly is go back to winterboard tap on winterboard and then you wanna tap on this twice turn it on and then turn it off and once you do that it's gonna give you the option to respring so you hit spring let your phone you know freeze up for a second it's gonna restart it's a soft reset so once we do that we're gonna be you're gonna have you're gonna be able to get on the T-Mobile internet network so now you could be anywhere and use your T-Mobile phone. Oh, come on. All right. Okay, so that's basically that. So now you have a unlocked, broken, jailbroken, and unlocked phone running on T-Mobile network, and you can use the T-Mobile internet as well with your SIM card. Um, I have the T-Zone tag, so this works with the T-Zone tag if you have it on your phone. If you don't, you can get the t regular T-Mobile internet plan and access any site you prefer. So that's that. Um, if you all have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment or you know whatever in the bottom. And please be sure to subscribe. I'll be making a video how to install install this, which is what I have here. To get free programs, it's just like the App Store, but you can get any, for any program for free. And it's going to be a simple tutorial. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, please be sure to leave any comments like I mentioned. This is Strategic Book, signing out.